Hello everybody, welcome back to another American Rod Shop video. And in this video, I've got for you 10 cool 1960s classic cars that you will definitely want to own. And you can find them right here in this video. Also in tonight's video, we're going to announce the winner of the Hearst sign from the last video. Plus, stay tuned, we'll be giving another item away tonight as well. Also, don't forget that the links to the cars for sale in this video can be found over in the video's description. All you do is go over there, click on the link for that car. It'll take you straight to the ad where the car is at for sale. Also, don't forget to check out our other great videos. There are still a lot of good cars for sale in those videos, especially the ones that's been posted in the last month. So be sure to check those out as well. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell. You want to be one of the first ones to get notified when these upcoming videos drop. Then you'll have early access over to the ads located in the video's description and possibly find the car of your dreams. All right, tonight's commentary question is a little unusual. It's going out to all those shade tree mechanics out there. I love you guys. Question is, have you ever built a hot rod under a shade tree? And if you did, what type was it? I once built a 1929 Chevrolet street rod under a shade tree, and it turned out pretty good. Drop your answer in the comments for fun. We'll see what everybody's got to say. Let's get this video rolling with number one. 1963 Ford Fairlane 500 Sport Coupe, listed in Brook Park, Ohio, for $20,000. Now it says it's been driven 90,000 original miles, has automatic transmission, the exterior color is green, and the interior color is black, and it has a clean title. Seller's description reads as follows. Seller purchased this vehicle three years ago and has done extensive repairs and upgrades since. Seller has restored all broken or non-working components back to working condition, all stock parts as well. Some of the major repairs, upgrades that were made are brand new, such as power brakes, an electronic distributor, rebuilt carburetor, new radiator, new dual exhaust, and many other upgrades, including suspension. There are too many to list, but the seller has saved all receipts on all repairs made. Car has always been garage kept, so no rust. Seller has only ever used the vehicle as a weekend cruiser, putting only about 2,000 miles on her since he purchased it. The car is in great condition, both mechanically and cosmetically. As close to the original condition as seller could get, seller says the $20,000 purchase price is firm, and no trades. Number two, 1967 Buick Skylark listed in Columbus, Ohio for $20,000. Driven 56,000 miles since the motor was rebuilt and has automatic transmission, the exterior color is red and the interior color is black and it has a clean title. Seller's description says 1967 Buick Skylark customized with original rebuilt 340 V8 engine the points was changed to electronic, and it has the two-barrel Elderbrock carburetor with dual exhaust system. Engine is coupled to a super turbine 300 transmission. It has power drum brakes with three-inch spindle drops front and back. Has shaved door handles and trunk lock with door poppers inside and out. Has custom skirts and lake pipes to give it that clean, smooth look. This car has no rust and no leaks. Very nice undercarriage with a nice paint job and custom pinstriping. Car runs and drives fantastic. She will go down the highway 100 miles per hour with no shakes or rattles. $20,000 or best offer on this 1967 Buick Skylark. And guys, I give this one my Editor's Choice Award because it's just such a beautiful ride. Number three. 1967 Plymouth Sport Fury listed in Pikeville, Kentucky for $18,000. It's been driven 69,000 original miles, has automatic transmission, the exterior color is yellow, and the interior color is black, and it has a clean title. Seller's description reads, Seller is relisting his beautiful 1967 Plymouth Sport Fury convertible. The previous owner owned the car for over 40 years, it has been well cared for, well maintained, and garage kept all of its life. It has a 383 engine with automatic transmission. Car has the original interior that is in great shape. All original, but does have a new top. 
You could not ask for a better original example of a 1967 Plymouth Sport Fury convertible. This car runs and drives great. $18,000 or best offer for this 1967 Plymouth Sport Fury convertible and a very hard type of car to find on the market. Number four, 1968 Mercury Cougar listed in Biloxi, Mississippi for $21,000. Been driven 108,693 original miles. Has automatic transmission, the exterior color is white, and the interior color is black. Seller's description reads, 1968 Mercury Cougar with factory 302 V8 and C4 automatic transmission. This has factory power steering, factory power brakes, and factory air conditioned car, and everything works. Upgraded under hood with new AC components to new style compressor and AC condenser design. This car runs and drives great. This car has new upholstery, new headliner, new front and rear window gaskets due to the glass having to be removed to do the headliner. All lights except headlights have LED bulbs in them. New front brakes, new rotors, and new master cylinder. It's not a show car, but a clean daily driver weekly car. $21,000 or best offer, no trades. Number 5. 1965 AMC Rambler Classic 770, listed in Schenectady, New York, for $11,500. It's been driven 72,000 original miles, has automatic transmission, the exterior color is beige, the interior color is black and tan, and the seller is the third owner. Seller's description reads, the seller is looking to trade or sell for best offer his very hard to find model 1965 AMC Rambler Classic 770 two door hardtop. Interested in trading for a boat 2008 year model or newer? With the exception of the door panels, this car is all 100% original with the seats being recovered just a few years ago. This car runs and drives good. This 65 Rambler has a smooth running 287 V8 engine and the transmission is automatic flash matic transmission. The body is super straight and is 99% rust free. The paint, the glass, and all chrome are in good shape. Everything electrical works. This car will make a great daily driver or to customize it to your choice. $11,500 or best offer. And I wanted to mention the American Rod Shop store. You can find the links to it over in the description. There you can find t-shirts, mugs, mouse pads, posters, and much more items. And all the profits go back into the channel and is a great way to support the channel. Okay, let's stop right here for a moment and find out who won the Hearst Shifter Knob sign from last video's giveaway. And then once we do that, we will turn right around and present another item for the tonight's video to be given away absolutely free all you have to do is be a subscriber and put the code word in all right let's find out who won this sign we're going to go to the youtube comment picker website we're going to put in the url for the video then we're going to hit pick a winner going to go up and answer i'm not a robot then it's going to pop up a winner and we'll scroll down to see who won it All right, congratulations to Paul Arnold. Paul Arnold, you are the winner of the Hearst sign. You've got three days to contact me at American Rod Shop at yahoo.com to claim your prize, and I'll give you details on how to get uh, a hold of it. So contact me at American Rod Shop at yahoo.com in the next three days or before in order to claim your prize. And in tonight's video, the item we're giving away, and we're going to give away one item every video until we reach 20,000 subscribers. So there'll be a lot of items to be given away, but the requirements is that you're a subscriber and you put in the code word in comments. Please don't drop this code word in the chat if this is live because the chat goes away at the end of the live uh, premiere. Put it in the comment section. The code word is WAX. Drop WAX. In the comment section, you'll be entered in to win this absolutely, totally free, nice box of Shine Armor Wax. Let's get back into the video with number six. This is a 1962 Studebaker Champ truck listed 
in Shreveport, Louisiana for $9,000. Seller's description reads, This 1962 Studebaker Champ truck runs and drives great. VIN number E717126. This is an all-original truck and has only been driven an original 86,643 miles. It has the original 289 eight-cylinder engine with an automatic transmission. The original paint is turquoise and the body is solid and super straight with only minor rust spots on and around the grill area. All body chrome is good and the glass is all good as well. Everything electrical works. Interior looks decent but could use a new seat cover. New door panels have been added. If you would like to own this little daily driver pickup, then this is the right one for you. $9,000 or best offer for this 1962 Studebaker Champ truck. Number 7. 1965 Mercury Comet listed in Knoxville, Tennessee for $24,000. It says it's been driven 10,000 miles since the motor was rebuilt. has a manual transmission. The exterior color is red and the interior color is black. And it has a clean title. Seller's description reads, Nice 1965 Mercury Comet that has a rebuilt 302 engine with a 4-speed top loader transmission. Has a new alternator and Hurst shifter. The rebuilt motor has just under 10,000 miles on it. This car runs and drives great and has dual exhaust. Has a new third member, new holly carb, new radiator, and many other new parts that are too many to list. Lots of chrome in the engine compartment. Paint and clear coat are very bright but does have some chips. Very nice original interior with a good headliner. All glass and body chrome is good. A great daily driver that is a head turner as well. $24,000 or best offer for this 1965 Mercury Comet two-door hardtop. Number 8. 1964 Dodge Polara listed in Tascadero, California for $40,000. Seller's description reads as follows. The exterior color is black and the interior color is gold. 1964 Dodge Polara with a 468 cubic inch Hemi with 530 horsepower and a 535 foot pound torque. Four link coil over Dana 60 rear end, set up for street or strip, and this car is fast. Has a brand new 355 Positrack transmission, nice gloss black paint, and an older restoration on the interior that looks fantastic. All glass and body chrome is good, and this daily cruiser is a real head turner for sure. $40,000 or best offer. Number 9 1964 Pontiac Bonneville, listed in Ogden. Utah for That says it's been driven 64,000 miles since its restoration, has automatic transmission, the exterior color is blue, and the interior color is blue, and it has a clean title. Seller's description reads as follows, 1964 Pontiac Bonneville has a freshly tuned 389 and it runs like a champ on the freeway. It has an upgraded aluminum radiator with electric fans. It has a rebuilt front end upgraded with dual master and bigger booster. Has new shocks with adjustable rears, new upholstery, still needs door panels, package tray and headliner installed, those come with the car. Has a super clean car with no rust, not perfect by any means, but shows very well and gets tons of thumbs up. Paint is a 7 out of a 10, just needs some light finishing up and a little TLC and you'll have a super cool cruiser, $17,888 
or best offer. Number 10, and it's an El Niso. 1965 Ford Ranchero listed in Ventura, California for $9,950. Can you believe that? Driven 54,000 miles, automatic transmission, exterior color is yellow, the interior color is brown, and it has a clean title. Seller's description reads, all original classic 1965 Ford Ranchero with a six-cylinder with automatic transmission. This car has been garage kept all its life. Has new wheels and tires, new brakes, and a new front end parts. This car has very low miles, in fact, 54,000 original miles on the engine. This is a great running car and does have some rust that you should expect from a 58-year-old car that is hardly ever seen anymore. This 1965 Ford Ranchero is also very easy to work on and gets a lot of looks, and it gets fantastic gas mileage as well. And it is very inexpensive for car insurance and the yearly vehicle registration fees. This is a great opportunity that only comes knocking once. A great investment as well to own this true classic car, $9,950. And guys, I give this one my best deal seal. Okay, let's close out the night to see who can answer this trivia question the quickest and drop your answer as soon as you think about it in the comments and we'll see who gets it first. In 1957, when the 57 Chevrolet debuted, fans of the car gave the front bumper cones a nickname. What was that nickname? And it was not Bumper Bullets. Drop your answer in the comments for fun and we'll see what everybody's got to say and see who gets the correct answer first. Thanks everybody for watching. I do appreciate each and every one of you viewers. Please like, subscribe, and share and comment. That helps this little channel to grow, helps it find its place in the YouTube algorithm, and gets us out there more and more. I appreciate it. God bless each and every one of you tonight, and I will see you in the next video.